guys and thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to do this tag and this tag is called Mommy Scenarios. Okay, there are eight questions and the first question is Your kid is refusing to eat dinner. Do you stand your ground and demand they eat what you made or do you make something else? <laughs> Who does that? Nobody. I'm not making nothing. Okay, you're going to eat what I cooked. And no, 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 no. There's not going to be no, if you don't want it, then oh well, then. You're going to just be hungry. No, I don't play that. I cook, you eat. I don't care if you don't like it. You're going to eat. Okay, I'll help you eat it. However, I'll threaten you. <laughs> I'll time you or whatever. But you're going to eat it. Because that's what I do with Kai. I'll be threatening him. Check it out. Dude, if you don't eat, you're going to go to bed. If you don't eat, then you're not going to get dessert. Hey, look, you got one minute. Hey, you got 10 seconds. I'm going to count to 10. And all those green beans better be gone or you're going to get it. <laughs> Question number two. Okay. Your kid has a meltdown at the store. Nothing is working to calm them. Do you leave and come back another time or grit your teeth and finish shopping? <laughs> I'm going to grit my teeth, okay? You're going to calm down. You're going to stop acting up right now, okay? Come back another time. Oh, no, 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 no. Kai, no. I'll give him that look. <laughs> and he stops, okay? It's funny because he just said last week, no, because you're going to look at me like this. <laughs> yes, you doing right. This is all I got to do. Is I'm gonna look at you like that, grit my teeth, and you're gonna stop. That's what I do with that card. And he stops. <laughs> That's it. I just have to do all know nothing, okay, to get you to calm down and act you because you act up inside the store. We gonna leave? Oh no, we ain't leaving nothing. We about to handle that right here, right now in the store with this look. Y'all know what I mean. And it's gonna work. Okay, okay. question number three. Your kid gets too many toys for their birthday. Do you make some returns or have them for a rainy day? Or save them for a rainy day? No, I'm not returning no toys. You know what? Like, if there's something that he didn't get and I know that I should go get, I, I will. I'll return that item and get something that I know he wants or he needs. Or I'll save some of the toys for a rainy day. I have done it. Oh, my God. Whoa. Like, yes. Like, my daughter used to get too many birthday gifts. It's too many. And so I would take some of them and put them away for a rainy day. During Christmas, we would still have gifts from her birthday. Because her birthday is in November. And then here come December. It's like, oh, my God. Oh, no. She still got all the birthday gifts. So, yeah, I will say some of them. Question number again. four. Um, your kid is child. They can say kid, but child. Children. A kid is a goat, right? But anyway. Um, your kid is protesting sleep. Do you give in at 3 a.m.? Get them up and turn on a movie or continue to rock them, nurse, etc. to try to get them back to sleep. I'm turning on the TV. Here, bam. Here. Watch this. Stay up as late as you want. I don't care. I'm going back to sleep. Or, you know, sometimes with Kai, still at four years old, I might have to, um, you know, pat him on the back a little bit. Just kind of rub his back a little bit to get him to go back to sleep. But, um, but if he restless, he want to be up, he want whatever, he done had a nightmare. Here, bam, here's some cartoons. Good night. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going back to sleep. As you guys know, yeah, Kai will come in our room in a minute. Three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. Mommy, mommy. Here, dude, lay down, rose back. He'll be asleep in a second. Now, it's not too often that I have to turn on some cartoons or something. Um, question number five. You have an appointment and no babysitter. Do you bring them with you or reschedule? I'll 
okay, Kai, to the doctor with me. I don't have a problem with that. Come on, let's go. I'm not rescheduling nothing. Let's go. You coming to the doctor with me? I take him everywhere I go anyway. Come on, I have a doctor appointment. Okay, so he comes with me to my doctor's appointment. Unless, you know, it's something personal, you know, then I'm going to have to reschedule. But I've never rescheduled. I've always taken my kids with me everywhere I go. That's just... That's just what I do. Babysitter uh, is the, babysitter. No, there's no such thing as a babysitter. I take my children with me wherever I go. Come on, we going to the to the doctor. We going to the hair appointment. <laughs> we going to the whatever. We are going shopping. Come on, I have to take my children with Question me. Question number six. You okay. have 20 minutes until unexpected company arrives. Do you rush to clean up? your messy house or just figure hey it's okay I got kids unexpected company I'm gonna hurry up and clean up like for real I don't want nobody coming in and seeing a mess in my house that's just how I am and for instance like my parole officer he always calling at the last minute He's talking about hey I'm one minute away oh okay I'm looking like a troll I stink but come on over you know so it's you know, it's like, oh my God, here, here it comes. I'm hurrying up and, and hurrying and picking this stuff up. Because, no, I don't want nobody walking into my home and seeing a mess. And you never know when you're going to have unexpected guests. Nobody wants people coming over unarrived. Un arriving, you know, without calling first. But sometimes it happens. People just show up for whatever reason. So, yeah, I'm hurrying up and clean up. Because I don't want nobody to see a messy house. But first of all, I'm like, oh, no. You're not going to play in my living room where people walk in and they can say, oh, my God. No, ain't, no, ain't, there's no playing in my living room, making a mess in my living room. You have your space. That's where you're going to play. That's where you're going to make your mess. And it's not going to be too much. I teach Kai. Oh, you're not playing with that? Then you put it up before you get the next toy. So, because I don't want to mess. No way. Okay, question number seven. You're running late and only have time to do your hair or makeup. Which do you do? Hair. <laughs> makeup. <laughs> so, y'all know how I am about makeup. I'm just not like a makeup person. But, of course, my hair. I'm like hurrying up, like brushing my hair, trying to fix my hair, forget some makeup. You know, in a car, I might pull out some makeup real fast and try to put something on. But hair, I think we all, all of us, we got to fix our hair. We ain't going nowhere all crazy looking with a hair and then got some makeup. What that look like? Nah. Mm -mm. Okay, okay, so, question number eight. Um, you're at the park and another child pushes yours. Hmm. Do you intervene? And correct them or oh oh that's it so do you intervene and correct them I'm gonna repeat this you're at the part and another child pushes yours do you intervene and correct them No, I'm, I'm not going to correct anybody's child. I'll go to the parent and I'll tell the parent, okay, your child just pushed my child and I'll let that parent handle the situation. Also, I'm going to go to my child. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my child and be like, wait, hold up. He push you. You let him push you. You don't let nobody push you. That's just how I am. Oh, you don't let nobody push you. Somebody push you, you better push them back, you know. But yeah, I'm going to go to that ch that parent and be like, okay, your child pushed my child. Please talk to your child because I don't want my child pushing nobody or my child putting their hands on nobody. So yes, I believe in going to the parent. I'm not going to ever say, um, hey, you kid, don't be pushing on my child. Who you think you are? Hey, child, that's not right. Now, if there's no parent around, then, you know, I'm going to go to that child and nicely, I'm going to tell the child, hey, you know, it's not nice to, nice to push you know please don't push you know just let them know that it's not nice but no in intervening and getting, no you know i see people doing that be like hey hold up you don't put your hands on my child you don't wait hold. and then a the parent right there and then the, then the other parents be like wait hold up who don't we talk to my child and then they, you know people fighting and stuff so no i don't believe in intervening and talking to children and no you don't do that that's not the proper way to do things so anyway, you guys, that's it. That was eight questions. I really enjoyed doing that. <sighs> okay, if you guys like this tag scenario, please feel free. It's a mommy scenario. Okay, you guys, if you enjoyed that, um, 
I would love to see you guys do that tag. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this. For all my new subscribers and old subscribers, I appreciate you coming over and watching this video. And guess what? I love you. Until the next video. You heard him. Cheese.